when I'm not protecting a certain VIP who lives on the east coast of the United States, I like to watch Diesel and his chauffeur Trucker Josh. Best channel on YouTube. Good morning everybody. We've been driving a short time today already. We just stopped here uh, for a quick coffee just down the road from where we stayed. I don't think I can make this corner here. Huh. How am I supposed to get out of here now? I'm gonna go into a U-turn. The parking lot is a little tight here. Bump up over the scale. There we go. This parking lot was made backwards and a little too small. I have to go out this way because there's no exit that way. But I had to park that way because I didn't want to nose in. I guess I could have just nosed down. I don't know what's going on. I haven't had my coffee yet, but I do have my coffee. And I'm kind of disappointed. This pilot wasn't an actual pilot. It was a Road Ranger, which is used to be owned by pilot. Or maybe it still is. Maybe their fuel is just pilot fuel. One of those situations. And uh, I got here and they didn't have my bean to cup coffee. I had to settle for a regular coffee. Dark days, I tell you. Dark days. I'm gonna make today good anyway. I'm gonna try to get both these headers unloaded today. I might have to do the second one tomorrow morning. Uh, but that's okay, cause uh, I have time for that if I if I need to. And then if we have to do it tomorrow morning, then uh, I gotta pick up my trailer in Jackson tomorrow anyway. And it's preloaded, so I can just get there whenever and go and grab it give them my empty trailer and go grab my loaded one. Look at this building off to the right here. It's an Illinois University. Look at that thing. That thing's a castle. That's an actual castle. Whoa. It's a castle. Illinois State University, I guess. I guess that's what the sign said anyways. Wouldn't that be cool to go to university in a castle? Like with lookout towers and everything? That thing looks like a medieval, like king's palace or something. I'd love to live in that thing. Can you imagine? Diesel, that's where you should live. Lord Weasel. Lord Diesel, Lord of all the weasels. This is my castle. Wow! Eastern Illinois University. That's what it says. Google that thing. Look at those pictures of that thing. Eastern Illinois Turn University. Right on 18th Street, IL 130. That is hashtag impressive. Just stop for a quick break to check the trailer and check the load in Gordon, Illinois here. Thank God we are away from the snow. You don't want to fall in that hole there off to the left. Yikes. What is this, Canada? This can't be. Oh, a trailer went through that. Oh, someone nailed that hole with their trailer. You should really put some guards around that or something. Oh, I'm gonna have to lock up my diffs. I'm stuck in a hole, stuck in a hole. There we go, now we disengage the diffs before we make this corner. What that does is it locks all of my rear tires, all of my drive tires together. And this guy made the corner right then. Oh, he can make it, he's good. All right, that guy's going that way, that van is going that way, this pickup is coming this way. All right, the pickup's gonna go. All right, minivan, your turn and then my turn. Here we go. Four-way stops, they're wonderful. Who needs a roundabout? Way easier to have just a four-way stop. 
everyone knows what's going on. Continue no confusion. For 30 kilometers. We're enjoying some of backcountry Illinois right now. Beautiful countryside here. Small town after small town after small town. Lots of agriculture. We're getting close. About an hour to go to the, the yard where I gotta drop this off. So I don't know, maybe one of these farmers is gonna buy the swather head or the, the header that I have on my trailer. Maybe they've already bought it, they've ordered it, and I'm the one to bring it to them. One of these farmers here is gonna be a very happy farmer. You're welcome. This looks like a, a very Canadian style bridge repair. There's a lot of water around here though. We're very close to the border with Indiana now. Close to the southern parts of the states of uh, Indiana and Illinois. But man, this river here really spilt its banks. It's just swamp everywhere. I don't know if it destroyed this bridge and now they gotta rebuild it or whatever they're doing, they just got one lane open now. It's amazing how they can just build a road through the sky over water. You know, a couple hundred years ago, there was no way to so easily get to the other side of the river, even though you could see it right there. You'd have to go way around or take a boat across, and if you didn't have a boat, you'd have to swim. If the current was strong, you couldn't just swim. We're standing on the backs of all the people who came before us who built all of this stuff. Oh, we're down here in Kentucky somewhere. Uh, I don't exactly know what town we're in, but we need some fuel. The sun went down pretty quick, but the weather is still beautiful down there. Got an empty flatbed behind us. We're just on our way down to Jackson, Tennessee. I'm still wearing my winter jacket, but I don't really need it down here. I'm going to be very lucky if I can find a spot here. In one kilometer, take exit 85, Christmas Fill Road, DRFE Right Drive, Jackson and then, turn left in 630 meters. In 800 meters, take exit 85, Christmas Fill Road, DRFE Right Drive, Jackson and then, turn left in 630 meters. Gosh. I know where I am. I'm gonna be pulling into the pile of Flying J here at uh, exit 85, like she said. Jacksonville, Tennessee, and we're going to cross our fingers, cross our toes, and hope for a parking spot. Not likely, but you know, the last time we were here, we got lucky. Someone pulled out just as we were, uh, you know, trolling around for a parking spot. Not sure if we're going to get lucky this time. I see some open spots already, but it looks like they're blocked in. There's a reason they're empty. Really don't know what to expect here, but we're going to pull in and find out. There's always this speedway right here that we could go to. Just on the left. Check pilot first here. As soon as you get further down into the U.S. like this, all the truck stops are always, always packed. It's so hard to find parking. Got so many trucks running around down here, and just not nearly enough parking. There's you got people parking on the street here already against traffic. Big signs that say no parking here, and they're still parked. So no truck parking. Oh, you guys are fixing to get towed. It'd be nice to have one of those spots right at the end of the road there. That would be nice, yeah. You know, See, last time someone was pulling out just as we were pulling in and it worked magically. I'll show you right away what I meant by that spot that's open. You see this guy on the right with his park lights on? That's not a parking spot. There's an open parking spot off here to the left, but I can't get in there because this guy's parked here. He's parked too close. Might be able to sneak it in there, but no, it's he's blocked that in. Not very nice. Not very nice. This is a very tight parking lot to begin with. Oh, 
bobtail in there. That's nice. I don't think we're going to find any parking here, boys. Oh, what's this? Bobtail. Guys, you can park your bobtail anywhere. Why do you, why do you take, take up a full 72 foot, foot spot? Another bobtail. Tell you what, tell you what. How about this one? Another bobtail. Uh, you guys can park at Walmart. You can park anywhere. No, you choose to take up a spot that someone like me needs. At the end of his day. spot here. Oh great. What's this guy doing? Okay dude. You came in the eggs. Came in the exit, buddy. Same with that guy. Now we're all jammed here and I gotta do this tight corner. And he's waving his hands at me like I'm the problem. You came in the exit, bud. That was you. there but I'm not paying to park oh he was taking a shortcut to the pumps I see what he was doing this guy's sticking way out here what really You're trying to get your nose ripped off bud another bobtail uh, more frustrating than anything showing up to these truck stops at night so many rude people. Yeah, we're not gonna find a spot here. Well, I'll keep sniffing around, see if I can find somewhere to park, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit.